you good morning. Proverbs 18.1 teaches us about the power of isolation and how Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, gives us the ability to overcome the power of isolation. So if you have your Bibles this morning, turn to me to Proverbs 18.1 as we look at how God enables us, strengthens us, and touches our mental health to break the power of isolation. Proverbs 18.1. The scripture tells us, He who willfully separates himself from God or man seeks his own desire. The Bible tells us he quarrel, his quarrel is against sound wisdom. Today we're discovering that mental health problems that, that can happen because of isolation can affect many parts of our mental health. They're telling us now that our immunity system can be affected. There's high risk of heart disease, poor sleep quality, increased risk of cognitive decline, increased use of substance abuse. But I come by to tell you that Jesus, Jesus died on the cross to bring us healing mentally, physically, emotionally, and psychologically. God is our help in the time of trouble. In the book of Job, chapter 2, verses 11 and 13, Job found him, himself in a place of isolation and loneliness. The scripture says he sits down on an ash heap, grieving the loss of his family and members, and, and covered in sores. Job is visited by his three friends, Elabaz and Bildad and Zophar, and they said true things and right things, but it was not applicable to Job. Job found himself totally isolated. And yet God ministered to him and brought him to a place of understanding the sovereignty of God gives us grace in those times of isolation. Jeremiah 15.10, Jeremiah, who wished that he was never born because of his message, he said, Woe is me, my mother, that she bore me. I am a man of strife, a man of contention to the whole earth. And because of his message, Jeremiah felt isolated and alone. And Jeremiah reflects his despair because of persecution from his own people and the horrors of exile. In 2 Timothy 4.16, Paul experienced isolation and being all alone. And in 4.16 of 2 Timothy, he says, At first... Answered, no man stood, no man stood by me. All men forsook me. And yet Paul said, I pray that God would hold us not to their charge. Paul's imprisonment in Acts chapter 23, verses 1 through 11. No one came forward to, to make a formal defense for Paul's behalf. Paul had no moral support in his latter years. The scripture tells us that God is able to help us in time of isolation and loneliness. As Psalms 42 teaches us, the psalmist teaches us to vent to God in a way they can bring healing to ourselves. In Psalms 42, he shows us in times of isolation how to vent. He said, as the deer panted for the water brook, so my soul pants after you. My soul pants for the living God. The psalmist goes on to say that his tears may be meat and day and night, while they continually say to me, where is your God? Have you ever heard that before? In time of loneliness, in time of isolation, people around you telling you where is your God because they don't believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The scripture goes on to say in Psalms 22, when I remember these things, I poured out my soul to God. Before I had gone with the multitude, I went with them to the house of God. And what did he do when he went to the house of God? The Bible says, with the voice of joy and praise, with the multitude that kept holy day, my tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say, where's your God? He said, with his voice of praise and joy, will I cry out to the Lord. And he says to himself, why are you cast down on my soul? Why are you disappointed within yourself? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. This healing that comes from God in times of isolation and loneliness comes through the work and power of the Holy Spirit. 
And this can all begin today as you turn to Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Accept him as your Lord and Savior and Master. Jesus took our place in the cross of Calvary, took our penalty for sin. And the Bible tells us this is called the substitutionary death. He took our sins upon himself. He bore the pain. And Isaiah tells us, by his stripes, we are healed. The Lord Jesus wants to heal us today. Help us in our time of uh, isolation and loneliness and bring us a place of healing so that we, by the grace of God, can walk through this life and say through his blood and by his crucifixion, by his stripes, I am healed. Be healed today in the name of Jesus. Be healed by the power of Jesus Christ and may your life never be the same. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever, breaking the power of isolation and loneliness. God bless you. The Lord keep you.